All right, guys. So I wanted to do a video because um, I haven't really seen any videos on <clears throat> the best way to set up a enclosed trailer. So I built all of this myself, honestly. So let me just give y'all a walkthrough of my build and why I built it this way. So uh, first, um, I wanted to to empty out the bed of my truck, and I need I wanted a place to have all my you know little miscellaneous and chemicals, yard signs, things of that nature. Uh, I just really wanted this trailer to be like um, real user friendly and uh, super easy to get get through and get to everything. So as you can see, <clears throat> I put my hose reels on the other side, the right side of the trailer. And the reason I did that is so I can walk in. I didn't want to put my hose reels right here blocking the door and my only entryway would be the back. So this is the reason I set it up this way so I can enter and exit each each point so I got my machines right here um, the exhaust facing out because of course you don't want fumes and exhaust going into the trailer so always have your exhaust facing out outwards. and these are this is a four gallon a minute belt drive this is my, uh, my second unit um, made a lot of money with that this is my baby, my new baby right here, the eight gallon a minute, 3,500 PSI. Um, it's by, both by Pressure Pro. I got a six gallon gas tank. Um, I will be upgrading that to an 11 gallon aluminum tank soon. So as you can see, I just walked through trailer. You know, just wanted to make it real accessible. I will be adding another hose rail here for my garden fill hose. I got my deep cycle marine battery power in my um, 12 volt pump. Got a proportioner. And this is my roof hose. And I use the clean roof sweat. This is all I need fan and the David shooting tip. Can't go wrong with that. A ladder here. Only adjustments I probably will be making is like I said, another hose reel and I will be getting ladder racks put on top of this trailer. And I'm going to also do some repainting. You know, just a little minor stuff. But as you can see, it's real roomy. No, I could sit right here if it start raining if I want to. I got my rain jacket hanging up on the wall, you know, just in case it start raining and I decide I want to finish the job or whatever. Um, I got my paper towel expensive. Um, definitely, paint definitely not holding up as I knew it wouldn't, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I got my A-frame in the back of the, in the side of the tank. I got my seven gallon soap tank that I never use. I might be getting rid of it soon. And uh, that's another thing. Um, I never really seen the soap tanks really useful, really because I use surfactant with my bleach. So um, if you can save, save, save your money with the, with the soap tank, you don't really need it. It's, Kind of pointless, but oh, on the top of here, just another thing I'll be upgrading. I have an 18 inch hammerhead surface cleaner, I have a 20 inch BE surface cleaner. The next time I do a video, I probably won't have either one of those. I probably have a 36 inch and a little big guy. 28 inch surface cleaner so but yeah this is my trailer like I said built it myself I got all my pressure guns right here these my this is my medium uh, 
pressure gun. This is my long one that I use with turbo nozzle. I keep all my miscellaneous stuff in here. You know, little hoses and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, man. Hand sanitizer definitely comes in handy. Um, and every night, I take this bucket and I leave my downstream injector inside of the bucket. I learned that from my guy, Justin. Thank you, Justin. It works very well. But this is my bill. Oh, another thing. If you decide on pl uh, plumbing two pressure washers to one tank, please make sure you get uh, a four-way. All right, so no water is being restricted from one pressure washer or another. All right, that's very important. It's something I learned doing all my mistakes. But uh, stay tuned, please, if you can, like and subscribe. And um, I'm gonna try. To, I'm really busy at this time of the year, but I'm gonna try to upload as many videos as much as I can. But uh, until next time, peace.